Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I'm sick. And honestly, I feel like uh, literal poop. But I realized I hadn't done a voiceover for the video, so I figured I'd start. Um, so the first thing I did this time was remember to primer, because last time I did not. Uh, so the look I'm going for is a no foundation look. It's been trending a lot, and I was like, man, that looks so cute. I really want to try it. So I decided to give it a try this time, um, where it would be no foundation for me but hopefully provide enough coverage at least that was my thought process but honestly i fell in love with the look and i would definitely do it again i would probably say that i would do it more often than i would with foundation foundation i'll probably save for when i'm like going out but this time i decided to start with my eyebrows and everything's going to be listed down below guys just so you know um this time i decided to make sure to try to include everything as much as possible um, but regardless, I decided to start with my eyebrows because I noticed that when I do my eyebrows last, it doesn't come out the way that I wanted to. So I said, you know what, let me focus on my eyebrows. And since I got this uh, new Benefit eyebrow pencil, I was like, ooh, I love it. And it makes it look so nice and sleek, like as if it's actual strokes. Um, I like my eyebrows on the darker side but not too dark but dark enough where you can tell i have eyebrows i feel like the lighter eyebrow look was not doing it for me so i like to see my eyebrows i don't like the fact that like my makeup was you know it was nice but when i look at the pictures i look at my eyebrows and i'm just like no because i love my eyebrows even when i wasn't into makeup my eyebrows was like my thing i used to have really fluffy eyebrows but I was young, silly, and I shaved them all off in some adventurous summer that I had at my cousin's house in New York. Do I regret it? Yes. Will I ever do that again? No. So I just have to move on and just work with what I got, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm adding to my eyebrows, and I tried to slow down the video as much as possible without running too much time. So. I'm hoping to be able to kind of talk my way through these. So some in parts of the videos, you'll see me talking because I was in my mind. I was like, man, I'm going to leave my voice on it. But time went by and I can't wait till I can do makeup in under like 20 minutes. But unfortunately, the only way I'll be able to do makeup in under 20 minutes is if I speed up this video. So regardless or not, I started to notice some hair. So I started to pluck those. I was like, no yeah they were pointing out too much so it was like too obvious for me because you know we're our worst critics and i am my biggest critic so i'm a virgo so and then i started to feel myself i started to feel the eyebrows because you know i love my eyebrows and again that's the pencil um i do love it and here i am starting with my concealer and bronzer so i really love this juvia's place bronzer it's actually really, really nice. I feel like it has too much sparkle though, so I might change it eventually. But for now, I really love what it does when it's on me. So I'm actually trying the setting spray first. Um, but first, you see me jump all over the place, so please be patient with me. But I started to realize, I'm like, maybe I should brush out my eyebrows because they started to look uneven because they were uneven. And I noticed that that one had less, my left side had less are showing you what i used and then again sorry guys i sound really bad so I, anyways i sprayed my brush with the all-nighter um setting spray because i saw uh instagrammer do that and i was like i'm gonna try it out this time and actually remember to do it so supposedly it's supposed to help the concealer you know stay looking flawless um to be honest i don't think i noticed a difference but that's just because i haven't had the opportunity to buy the concealers that i want to get so i only have the one concealer for now but trust me your girl is working on it and i do love that concealer so i may just buy the lighter shade of that one and then still buy um the house of labs one that i really really want to try so I'm definitely getting the House of Labs one in two shades, and then I'm getting another one in this shade. 
and I'll probably see which one I like more whenever I have plans. So for my bags, I'm trying to cover those bags up, but um, yeah. So the concealer, <laughs> I started to like it a little too much, so I got excited. Um, again, you see me talking, because like I said, I'm trying to figure out a way to talk through the videos with when I get faster, but. And here I am with the bronzer. So last time I didn't do it in a way where I liked it. I hated it. I was like, man, I don't like this bronzer. But now I'm doing little circles because I actually want to see, I wanted to see if this would be a better routine because I saw another um, Instagrammer actually do this. And I was like, man, I really like that routine. And I'm pretty sure it was Notori. And again, you'll hear me say it later. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but I'm pretty sure it was Notori. But uh, we'll, you'll see how it comes out and you'll see why I actually like this way a lot better. It was easier for me to blend it out so it seemed more seamless. And see, with me, I was always concerned that with... Sorry, I'm over here trying to look at what I'm doing at the same time as talking with you. With bronzers, I always felt like, man, I don't want to go darker, but I understand the necessity of going darker in certain areas. It brings more definition to your face. And to me, it, it actually does look pretty flawless for my situation. So you'll see. I'm trying my hardest here. And then I just started going off on my own when I really should have just kind of followed through. But hey, you know what? You never know until you try. But I ended up loving it. So what you noticed that I did was I actually added more concealer, right? But later on, I'm not going to like it around. I'm not liking the bronzer above my lip. I feel like it's kind of like too dark. So I actually add concealer, which I don't show because I do it off camera and it kind of lightens it up. And you'll actually see that when you see my final face, how much of a difference it was. So here I am blending out the bronzer and let me let y'all know I was hating it. I was like, it's so dark and I'm not this dark, but I am that dark. And honestly, I feel like it's so beautiful when you see it once it's done. So I will definitely, like I said, be doing this look. But again, when I first started doing it, I was like, man, I'm not liking how this is coming out. I'm feeling like it is too dark. And I was like really contemplating just like wiping it off. But I fixed it because even though it was dark, what I did was I took another brush and I actually, the, the brush was actually clean. Nothing was on it. And I kind of like blotted out. So. It kind of not lightened it up, but took off so much of the bronzer. But again, it actually does look really good. I just in my head, I'm like, man, this is too dark and it's not coming out the way I want it to. It's not going to look right. I'm going to look stupid, but you never know until you try. So don't ever don't be your worst enemy. Finish through fully go through and then you make the decision for yourself. But after a while, I did start to feel it and I still liked it. So you'll see. Um, just getting the brush so I can do the concealer. I let it sit for a little bit. And honestly, I understand the significance of it, which is why I'm trying to get used to doing that. Um, but I need to find a better way to like conceal the bags, which is why I know I need another lighter tone of concealer. So right now, again, I only have the one, so I have to work with what I have, which is why I tried my hardest to kind of like, you know, blend it out, make it look like something I would like to wear out in public. Let's, let's be real. So I started blending. Trying to make sure I get under my eye. I really like that line. It's like a crease where the, you know, the um, bronzer and the concealer actually kind of meet. I'm going to try something a little different where I blend it out a little more. But I really like how the line's there. I feel like the line is so cute. I know it sounds weird, but I just do. I feel like the line is really cute. 
And here I am just kind of making sure I'm following the right process. Um, trying to make sure that I'm doing it in the right way. I have to take a minute and I'm like, Ugh. and there's me telling myself I'm going to trust the process, even though I wasn't liking it. Remember, I told you that. So this is me taking that empty brush, the one that was had no, no product on it. And I'm kind of trying to like clean up the bronzer in a sense where I'm like cleaning it off where it's not so dark, where I feel like it's more blending than it is being so bold. Because I like it bold, but I don't like it that bold. So I'm trying to find a balance for me personally. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find the balance. So here I am starting to like it because I'm starting to kind of blend the concealer in more. And I'm starting to feel myself. So there I am liking it, <laughs> which y'all can see. So don't judge me. <laughs> But I wanted to add more concealer because I felt like it was all brown, um, brown bronzer. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to like wipe my nose and talk at the same time. It's all bronzer. So I wanted to add more concealer so it points out, you know, more definition in my face. And so there I am adding more concealer. And I was trying to wait a little bit. And then I said, you know, um, then again, the video is sped up. So give me a few or be patient with me. So there I am blending it in. So it gives me more definition. What I should have done, which I'm going to try next time, is kind of like drag it down. Um, but all in all, I really did like it. And to be honest, I feel like the no foundation look actually does feel a lot lighter, which it makes sense because you're not putting so much product on your face. But at the same time, I don't feel so worried that I'm getting so oily or that the product is going to like come off of my face like I would with the foundation whenever I hug someone. Whenever I hug someone, the foundation does come off. And I know that's because I probably didn't use the right setting spray or I didn't go the right process. But I am learning and I like that I'm learning on my own time and my own way. So honestly... I like it and I'm going to continue to do it. So I'm literally trying to fight this cold, but it is like really taking over. And honestly, I'm probably just going to lay in bed. But as you can see, it started to blend more. It wasn't so harsh to me. So I started to like it even more. And then I wanted to make sure like the concealer, like you could see more concealer. So there I am kind of just making sure. And then I put the fan on so it can kind of dry faster. And there I am kind of making sure. And now here I am trying out the Black Radiance uh, setting powder, the banana form. I'm definitely going to try getting a pressed powder as well. But for now, I, I mean, when I first started doing makeup, I did have a pressed powder, but I can't remember if I liked it or not. So I'm definitely going to try it. But here I am putting the loose powder under my eye. And I don't think I had liked it. I feel like it was so, I don't know. I didn't really like it, but I know it's a staple that, you know, helps with the makeup. It's just... For me, I feel like I like how my makeup looks without powder. So I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. If it's something that's a must or if it's not a must or if it's kind of just like, you know, a user's preference. But I was I was OK with it. But at the same time, I'm like, man, I wish I didn't have to put powder because I really liked how it looked without the powder. But. I started feeling myself a little too much either way. There I am adding it to everywhere I had concealer just to make sure. And there I am just making sure that I'm following the right process. Now, last time I put way too much blush. 
So I said, you know what? I'm going to take it two dots at a time and blend it out. But I am going to try and put the blush first next time because I actually saw a couple different ways that you can like do it. But I really do like, you know, the blush itself. It's very nice. It's very pretty. I love the color. I feel like it's so, I don't know, like feminine in a sense where it's like, I don't know, it brings out your cheeks and it makes you look so like rosy and I don't know, but I like it. And at first I was so scared of blush because I'm like, man, blush don't look right on me. I know it's not going to look right on me, so I'm not interested in it. But after seeing girls like me wear blush and do it so flawlessly, I was like, man, I got to get on this blush movement because like I'm telling you, it was so pretty. It made me really want to start wearing blush more often. So here I am trying to blend it out because like I said last time I went overboard. And there I am adding some more to my nose, just like some leftover from the brush. And there I am kind of blending it out. And there I am blotting some more just to make sure it's kind of in there, packed in there. Because I really was worried that it would look like cakey, especially since I put the powder. But I really do like the look, so I was a little excited. And there I am putting on concealer under my eyes so it can define my eyebrows more, which I probably really should have did beforehand, but I didn't realize it until after I was done. I was like, man, my eye, my eyebrows need more definition. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Let me handle that. So that's what I did. I started adding it on. I like when I'm able to like get it really under the eyebrow to like define it. I feel like it kind of pops out more. I really like it, so. Here I am trying to dry the concealer so I can decide what to do next. And there I am adding eyeshadow. It's kind of going for a little bit of a more darkerish, cocoa-ish look. I liked, I kind of like the follow through, but the eyebrow or the eyeshadow was not coming out the way I wanted it to, as you will see. So I just said, you know what? Let me go ahead and cut that out of there because yeah, y'all don't need to see that. So I'm trying to fix it up a little. There I am, blotting out more of the blush just because you kind of just look at something and you're like, man, maybe I need more. There I am using the mascara. Now that mascara, it's very nice, right? But I don't like how it kind of got clumpy, but I think it got clumpy because my eyelashes are naturally extremely curly. So therefore they curl back into each other. So there it is trying to survive as I'm opening my eyes and all it's doing is getting on my eyelids. So I won't waste showing a photo of that to you guys because I'm pretty sure you know how that works. But the eye shadow or the eye. Oh God, I'm so tired. Um, The mascara is very, very good. I feel like it's like, it really does make it look elongated as if I'm having eyelashes on so and there I am trying to put a little mole I don't have the right pencil for it but I will get me a liquid pencil and be adding a mole even though I already have a mole it's still hidden under the makeup so it's like mm. but I really did thought that was like really cute to add in and there I am with the NYX setting spray I do still like that setting spray I used to use it um, but for some reason I said let me try and buy it and see how it works because even though I know everyone likes that other one that I, um, that all nighter, I was like, man, I really want to try my old school NYX. I don't know why. I just wanted to try it out to see how it would work. And also, <coughs> excuse me. I also went back to my normal lip routine because honestly, that last time I, I don't know what I was thinking, but this routine is my normal routine. 
So I stuck with it and honestly, I loved it. So this is me showing you guys what I used this time and it's gonna be listed down below. I realized that I would put it on my lips and then forget to post it for you guys. So that was what I tried last time, but I really like the clear part of it because it kind of like gives it more like a pop definition for me. But here's the final look and I hope you guys like it. Thank you. Okay, so I just have to come on here and record the look. Um, I am like a little obsessed with it right now. So the no um, foundation look is very, very cute. And honestly, I would do it again. I would probably try to follow it precise to the key. Um, just like, I'm gonna butcher it, I'm so sorry. I love you, please do not hate me, uh, Notori. I'm gonna try more harder to follow it to the T. I just gotta be able to buy all the products. Um, but I know she had posted about the person who she got the video from or the idea from, but um, I wanna follow Notori directly because I love the way her lines look and everything. But anyways, back to the subject again. Um, I really, really like the look. It's like so cute. Guys, and, and I'm gonna kind of turn the camera around. And just show you really quick. But uh, yeah, here's the look. And thank you guys for watching my video and tuning into my channel. Like, subscribe, and follow me on this journey. It's like so exciting. <laughs> I'll be a little less nervous coming soon. So yeah, bye.